How many bones do you have in your body? You have 206. That makes up about 20% of your body mass. But what would happen if we didn't have bones? Well, we would kind of look like slugs. Um, we would just kind of crawl around on the ground. We wouldn't really have any definite shape or form. We wouldn't be able to move around. We wouldn't be able to exercise. We wouldn't be able to do basic daily functions. So because of this, the body is a triumph of design and engineering. But what are the purpose of bones? Bones have several different functions. One of them is support. So the bones provide a framework that support the body and it also cradles soft organs. For example, bones of the lower limb act as pillars for support for the body trunk. This means that the appendicular skeleton shown in pink will support the axial skeleton that was shown in blue. The second one is movement. Skeletal muscles attach to bones by tendons and they use bones as levers to move the body parts. Because of this, we're able to walk, we're able to hold objects, and we're also able to breathe. Another important function is protection. So let me give you some examples of this. The fused bone of the skull protects the brain. The vertebrae surround the spinal cord, and then the rib cage helps protect the vital organs of the thorax. Then we have mineral storage. Bone is a reservoir for minerals, most importantly calcium and phosphate. The stored minerals are released into the bloodstream as needed for distributions to all parts of the body. Another important function is blood cell production. Most blood cell formation, or hematopoiesis, occurs in the marrow cavities of certain bones. Among these are red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelets. Finally, there's energy storage. Fat is stored in the bone cavities and represents a source of stored energies for the body. So I bet you're thinking, how am I going to remember all of this stuff? Well, I came up with an acronym to help you. Some might pick Mexican seafood, but children prefer egg salad. This translates to support, movement, protection, mineral storage, blood cell production, and energy storage. Now I want you to try and make your own.